12.53, non-stop music with Kevin McCarthy. Here the weatherman saying clear and cold this morning overnight. Uh, it's sunny in the morning, cloudy in the afternoon for today. Low this morning, 25 degrees, high 45. And right now at WFIL, it's 43 with the sound of Philadelphia. Non-stop music. I got, uh, my name is Kevin. Got a hit line request from Levittown. Song from War.
WFIL, that's Paul McCartney and Wings and Jet. It's 102. Much more music on a Monday morning. Got Dr. John. Right place at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. Wrong times of streakings going on tonight in the area, so I must be at the right place at the wrong time. It's 105 All Hit Music with Kevin McCarthy. What's red, yellow, white, and sticky? I know, a Polish one cent stamp. No, it's a WFIL McBumper sticker, and we'll explain that very slowly soon. Dad just got home early, so it's dinner out tonight. And you want to treat the family, but the budget's pretty tight. White Tower is specialty, all right. Sandwiches, special platters, and complete dinners. White Tower has them all. 100% pure beef, all beef hamburgers from big to giant size. Choice ocean fresh fish fillet served with yummy tartar sauce and tender, juicy steaks, plus French fried or hash brown potatoes, crispy, tasty French fried onion rings, sumptuous desserts, and of course, White Tower's famous freshly brewed special blend coffee. You're in happy company when you're eating at White Tower. If you need a change to brighten up your day. Watergate and the energy crisis, let's face it, 1973 wasn't exactly a banner year. 
Ah, but 74 could look a whole lot better to you if you see it from behind the wheel of a new town Volkswagen. Fewer stops at overcrowded filling stations is only one of the many advantages of Volkswagen ownership. With VW's new security blanket coverage, you'll have almost worry-free maintenance. Thinking about economy? Then think of this. Town Volkswagen will allow you from seven to nine hundred dollars on your '67 VW, twelve to fourteen hundred dollars on your '69, and from seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars on your '71 Volkswagen. Town will provide immediate delivery on Dashers, Super Beetles, Beetles, buses, and campers. The time has never been better. The deal's never more fair than right now at Town Volkswagen, 48th and Chestnut Street. But don't take our word for it. Stop into Town Volkswagen or give them a call at SH82900. Yep, 74 might not be a bad year after all. With a little help from your friends at Town Volkswagen, 48th and Chestnut Street, Philadelphia. How about you? That's Barbara Streisand. And the way we were, it's 111 nonstop music with Kevin McCarthy. The 56 forecast, clear and cold overnight. Later on today, sunny in the morning, cloudy in the afternoon, low 25. The high should be 45 for today. And right now at WFIL, it's 43. With a piano man, this is Billy Joel. It's 9 o'clock on a Saturday. Shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin.
at the bar is a friend of mine. He gets me my drinks for free. And he's quick with a joke, or to light up your smoke. But there's some place that he'd rather be. Makes WFIL News. Matt Brenner reporting. Tom Anderson, president of the Pennsylvania Service Station Dealers Association, who says the PSSDA will go it alone in talks with federal energy officials this week in Washington in the association's quest for more gas for the Keystone State's independent dealers. First of all, they've got the gas to give us uh, because, uh, A, they zapped us out of the gas. I mean, there's no question at all to that. Uh, we're getting uh, 85% of 72s. Uh, allocation and uh, other states are getting 110 percent of 72's allocation uh, there's something totally ridiculous and something totally wrong with any system that uh, sticks it to Pennsylvania and gives us 85 percent 110 percent to some other state in the Midwest the Consumer Federation of America list U.S. Senator Hugh Scott of Pennsylvania is one of seven senators who did not support the consumer during the 1973 congressional session. The Federation says it based its evaluations of voting on 13 issues affecting the consumer. The Pennsylvania Crime Commission says there is widespread corruption in the Philadelphia Police Department. 56 Newsman Ira Melman has the tale. The commission's 1,400-page report, compiled after two years of investigation, says corruption exists in all 22 of the city's police districts and involves officers ranging in rank from patrolman to inspector. Police Commissioner Joseph O'Neill has had no comment on the report, but Mayor Rizzo says he deplores any attempt to smear the entire police department with frivolous, unsubstantiated, or undocumented allegations. Rizzo says the vast majority of the city's policemen are hardworking and dedicated. Ira Melman, WFIL News. A local newspaper reports Pennsylvania's Agriculture Secretary James McHale is being investigated for alleged violation of the Federal Hatch Act which prohibits non-elected government employees whose department receives federal funds from participating in partisan politics. A bill that calls for the death penalty for nine specified crimes but allows juries to show mercy after considering mitigating circumstances is expected to be approved in the Pennsylvania Senate this week. 
The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection will hold a public hearing today on a plan to extend its current relaxation of sulfur and fuel standards until July 1st. WFIL's Gene Dillard has more. The department wants to allow the emergency measure to remain in effect because of the continuing shortages in energy supplies. Acting Environmental Protection Commissioner Joseph Barber says the increased sulfur dioxide in the air since the relaxation went into effect has not reached a level to present a threat to public health. Gene Dillard, 56 News, Trenton. WFIL News Time, 119. The following message involves a, message involves a subject so dirty we find it embarrassing to even talk about it. you missed the point, it is simply this. Dirty air caused by automobile exhaust and industrial waste also causes illness in many people, particularly those already suffering from respiratory disease. If you are one of them, Inhale indoors until the air clears. Join with your lung association in the fight against air pollution. It's a matter of life and breath. A California district attorney says he is considering allowing two suspected members of the Symbionese Liberation Army to appear on a nationwide broadcast news conference as demanded by the kidnappers of Patricia Hearst. He says the question will be discussed with attorneys for the two suspected SLA assassins, Russell Little and Joseph Ramiro. Fire swept through a house at an Irish village eight miles south of Dublin early Monday, killing a family of 13. Police say Derek and Stella Howard and their 11 children went Ben where the fire started, and neighbors who tried to get into the blazing house were beaten back by smoke and flames. A bomb planted in a truck outside a Roman Catholic church 50 miles south of Belfast exploded Sunday night. Police say a 15-year-old boy was killed and two teenage brothers were seriously hurt. Police are not certain whether the boy was in the truck or nearby. His death raises the toll to 964 persons killed in the four and one-half years of sectarian violence in Northern Ireland. U.S. hopes for announced end of the Arab oil embargo were dashed Sunday when a meeting of Arab oil minister was, ministers was postponed at the last minute. The bickering between the six oil ministers on the location and time of the meeting indicates conflict over the future of the embargo. A new meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, this one in Tripoli, Libya. The fuel-related work stoppage in West Virginia's coal mines continues. Correspondent David Douglas has a report. That wildcat strike by more than 76,000 coal miners here in southern West Virginia will not be ending, as many people had thought. Groups of miners met Sunday afternoon at several locations in the southern part here in West Virginia to discuss whether or not they should return to work, and the miners have voted almost unanimously to remain off their jobs. The miners started their strike two weeks ago in a protest over critically short gasoline supplies, and although steps have been taken to bring more gasoline into the southern coal fields, the strike continues. West Virginia Governor Arch Moore has taken many steps to make more gasoline available to the coal miners, but the miners say Governor Moore hasn't gone far enough. This is David Douglas in Charleston, West Virginia. The conspiracy trial of former cabinet members John Mitchell and Maury Stans goes into its fourth week today in New York. At the last session, the key prosecution witness testified about a mystery envelope containing a black book and a memo addressed to President Nixon's brother Donald. In a cliffhanger move, court adjourned before Harry Sears could be questioned on his testimony. More than six million Belgians voted for a new parliament Sunday, an expected swing toward parties favoring more autonomy for the nation's two linguistic regions failed to show up in early returns. With Half of the votes counted. The Belgian state TV network computer predicts the Social Christian Party would come out six seats stronger. The Socialists would retain their place as second most powerful and the Liberals in third place. Ethiopia's national trade unions have agreed to end a four-day nationwide strike after winning sweeping labor reforms. A spokesman for the 85,000-member union federation said the government has accepted all 17 of its demands. Heavy fighting erupted Sunday along Highway 4 where rebels controlled a six-mile stretch linking Phnom Penh to Cambodia's only deep water port. Field reports say 18 government soldiers were wounded in clashes 18 miles west of the capital city. 
Former U.N. Secretary General U Thot is improving at a New York medical center after undergoing surgery for a neck tumor. The 65-year-old Burmese diplomat is expected to be released within a few days. A suitcase crammed with one million U.S. dollars was found at the scene of an auto accident in Argentina Sunday. Two men died and one woman is in serious condition and police are waiting for the injured woman to be able to answer questions about the money. It's been reported that special agents from the Internal Revenue Service are investigating President Nixon's taxes. Correspondent Tom Foley has a report. In its latest issue, Newsweek says the Internal Revenue Service is in effect conducting a criminal fraud investigation of the President's 1969 income tax returns. The magazine quotes unnamed sources as the basis of its story. And it says that the special agents have interviewed the President's accountant, his former tax lawyer, and a former aide. The IRS special agents conduct only criminal investigations. The problem is that well-publicized donation of Mr. Nixon's vice presidential papers, just when exactly they were given to the National Archives. The White House says it has not been notified of any criminal investigation of the president, adding that it is cooperating with Internal Revenue. Tom Foti, New York. In sports action last night in the NBA, the 76ers over the Knicks by a score of 109 to 108. In the NHL, the Flyers got by Buffalo by a score of 4 to 3. And in exhibition baseball action, the Phillies over Boston by a score of 9 to 2. WFIL News Time, 124. A career in engineering for a girl. I like being a woman, but I, all, I think I also like being an engineer. And I don't think that there's any difference between the two. I think that they can, you can combine the two, you know, with great harmony. I don't see where, you know, if you're a, wo a woman, you can't be an engineer, or if you're an engineer, you couldn't be a woman. You know, like, um, I still want to keep my so many ways. You know, I don't want to do anything to make me feel like a man. And I, as far as I'm concerned, I, have, I haven't run into anything, and I don't think I, I will be running into anything in my profession that takes away any of my... Like, I still, I, you know, yeah, I want to be an engineer, but, you know, I still want to be a woman. For information on careers in engineering for women, write Engineering, 101 Hammond Building, University Park, Pennsylvania, 16802. 56 forecast. Clear and cold overnight, sunny in the morning, cloudy in the afternoon. The overnight low, 25. The day's high, 45. The winds are at 10. WFIL temperature, 37. <laughs> Matt Brenner, WFIL News. Kevin McCarthy, WFIL Music. Solid gold. Read the Franklin. You better think. It's 127. Non-stop music with Kevin McCarthy. Need a little sunshine on my shoulders. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy.
WFIL, Philadelphia, non-stop music. Jays, you got to put your hands together now. It's 132 non-star music on a Monday morning. Going back to 1965, the Rolling Stones. Get over my cloud now.
1965 Stella Gold, Mick Jagger, Rolling Stones. Hey, you get off of my cloud. It's 135. All the music time with Kevin McCarthy. Oh, boy. If you've been looking for fresh, delicious baked goods, then look no more. Hanscom's is just what you've been looking for. Hanscom's Bakery has been in Philadelphia since 1889, and that means experience that you can trust. They have luscious pies, and for those special occasions, 100 specially decorated cakes. Their cinnamon buns are really sticky buns. Excellent quality can also be found in their candies and specialty breads. And by the way, don't forget to check Hanscom's prepared foods. You'll find they're just the right menu for any meal or snack time. For the best baked goods in the Delaware Valley, it's easy to see why everybody likes Hanscom's. With 19 convenience stores in the area waiting to serve you. Stop by today and find out just how good Hanscom's really is. Hanscom's has 19 convenient Delaware Valley locations, 907 Market, 8 South 52nd Street, 22 West Chelton, 4669 Paul, and many more. It's 139. Much more music with Kevin McCarthy. I want to tell you about the weather forecast. Clear and cold this morning. Later on today, sunny in the morning. Cloudy in the afternoon. That's confusing, isn't it? Well, low 25 today's high 45. And right now it's 43.
Which is the way that's clear Still looking for that blue jean Baby queen, prettiest girl I ever seen See her shake on the movie screen Jimmy Dean James Dean
Golly, Chicago. Does anybody really know what time it is? It's 1.45. Much more music with Kevin McCarthy. Well, keeping up with the tradition of being soft and smooth and nice. The stylistics. Hit bound song. You make me feel so brand new. Hit bound, you make me feel brand new. You must like it. There's a hit line request for Pottstown this morning. It's 159 Stop Music with Kevin McCarthy. They got a song here from Most Sedated. This is Edis 2. It's a hit right here at 56. Una promesa, eres tú, eres tú. Como una mañana de verano. Como una sonrisa.
Sedan is zero is two. It's one fifty-three. Much more music time with Kevin McCarthy. Hey, a fifty-six point gas clear and cold this morning. Later on today, sunny in the morning, cloudy in the afternoon, low twenty-five. The high of forty-five, and right now it's forty-three. WFIL and we got a song from Johnny Rivers. Rocky pneumonia, the boogie woogie flu.
Kevin McCarthy. WFIL, this Elton John betting in the Jets. It's 2.03 nonstop music on a Monday morning. Here's Grammy Award winning Stevie Wonder. And as it's very superstitious. <laughs> because he's a black cat. That's Stevie Wonder. It's 206 All Hit Music Time with Kevin McCarthy. What's red, yellow, white, and sticky? Oh. <laughs> no. It's a WFIL McBumper sticker. Oh. And we'll tell you more about that soon. Mm. Uh, lady, lady, control yourself. Straight through pies make me want to cry. Comes in apple and cherry makes me feel so fine. This is Matt Williams, and that's the song that me and the Drydells did up our Drake's Fruit Pies TV commercial. You heard me right, our TV commercial. Now Drake's is inviting you kids 8 to 16 to make up more TV commercials for your favorite Drake's cake. If you're lucky, yours could be made for TV, just like ours. If you're not that lucky, you still could be lucky enough to win one of 50. That's 5 0 Kodak camera outfits. Now dig on the announcer. For contest entry blanks and all the details, just get a Drake's Cake family pack of Devil Dogs, Fruit Pies, Yankee Doodles, or Ring Dings. Or send your name and address to Drake's, Blair, Nebraska, 68009. Be cool, baby, but get your thing in by June 30th this year or forget it. So get it together and show them your stuff. No purchase necessary. All prizes will be awarded. Void were prohibited by law. W.
Jim Stafford's Spiders and Snakes. It's 